Thus spoke the great chief Tirawa in his heavenly abode to the god seated at his side, saying, You, star of the evening, shall dwell in the west, and you, star of the morning, shall dwell in the east. And there, just above the horizon, they herald the coming of sunrise and sunset, the morning and the evening star, these two who are one and the same, the planet Venus. Our nearest neighbor hid itself from our gaze, concealing its secrets under a thick veil of radiant clouds, exciting our imaginations and kindling our hope of finding relatives there who would join us in the family of life. Four, three, this same inspiration two, that fed our imaginations also fostered in us the passion to try to cope with the challenge of Venus's mystery through scientific investigation. And thus, we began to send our curious sensors to penetrate the thick veil of this puzzling neighbor, and although what we found there put an end to our imaginings, it left us open-mouthed in the presence of the reality we uncovered. Why, we asked, as the first reverberations of our investigation began to reach us, why does the sun not rise on Venus as it does on other planets, but rises instead in the west and sets in the east? Why does one day on Venus last longer than half a year? And what sort of day is this, in which the very light that shines for us so brightly when we gaze upon Venus from afar, seems so dim and murky on the planet's own surface? As the riddle of Venus grew, so did our efforts to decipher it, but the planet's reluctance to reveal itself seemed to grow as well. The first spaceships that tried to penetrate the covering of clouds ceased transmission and vanished without a trace. What is the meaning of this deadly welcome? Might it have to do with conditions on Venus's surface? How are these connected to the atmosphere that envelops the planet and to the planet's crust? Could the surface of Venus, as we envision it on the basis of our research data, tell us something about its inner structure? What lies beneath the volcanoes, valleys, and fractured plains? Venus's secret slowly unfolds itself before us. How close, really, is our closest neighbor in the family of the Sun?